we are back at Unite Live in Austin. And now we have uh, Jay Wright joining us. He's the CEO of Euphoria. And Euphoria, we've, we've been supporting Euphoria for a long time in Unity. But just recently with 2017.2, you are natively integrated with the engine. So how does that feel? It feels awesome. <laughs> it feels awesome. I mean, it's great for us, but I think it's great for developers too. Yeah. We made it easier. I mean, it's easier to get started, easier to set up, and just generally easier to use. And of course, some fun new content for samples. Yeah. So for people who are totally out of the loop on AR, Vuforia, yeah. all these things, yeah. what is Vuforia and what, what does it do? Well, if you think about AR as trying to stick content to the world and actually attach content to physical things, we make it sticky. <laughs> so cool. when, when, you have your, when you have your content and you add Vuforia, we'll show you which parts of the world can be sticky so that you can attach things to them whether that be attaching content to toys or industrial machinery or even just the ground in front of us. And Vuforia, you guys, I mean, you guys are, are veterans of AR, right? I mean, you, you've been pioneering a lot of this tech we've for been a while. In the, we've been in this for a little while. We actually started in 2010. Right. Um, the group was founded and sort of grew up in Qualcomm and was acquired by PTC a couple years ago. Okay. So there's a tremendous amount of technology and a long, lo over a long time uh, period of investment to, to get what we've got today. So I'm always interested in, in things like this where um, there's kind of like a delta in the tech between, between then and now. What kind of things did you, did you, you know, first get going with AR and, and then what is it like now? I'll tell you, it's, it's kind of funny because the, the first things that got started and actually the first developer challenge that we ran was with Unity. And I think this was 2011. Indeed. And, and the first series of things that we saw were kind of like tabletop games. In mm -hmm. fact, eerily similar to the first round of, of games and things that we've been seeing with ARKit. Yeah. Right. So it's kind of, in, in some sense, neat to see all that kind of stuff come full, cir first full circle, yeah. Yeah. but with you know, probably a broader awareness for the technology than existed before. Yep. Cool. So I know with Euphoria, personally, I have used the image targets and the object targets, but now you guys have um, model targets yes. as well. Can you tell us a little bit about yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. So we provide multiple ways to attach content to objects. But one of the characteristics of, of objects that we require to make yeah. them sticky is they have to have a, a certain amount of visual detail, like intricate detail. And, and that's something that the computer vision technology takes advantage of. But there's a lot of things in the world that don't have that kind of intricate detail. For example, like the exterior of a car, the dashboard of a, of a car, an yeah. appliance that you might find in your kitchen. These things are subtle. They're designed to be sleek, and, and they, don't, they don't sort of look like that. So we had to come up with some new technology to attach content to those, and that's, that's model targets. So they actually can recognize those objects and make them sticky and identify them by shape, yeah. which is pretty cool. And, and the shape is actually defined by a 3D model. So mm -hmm. as long as you've got something like even a, a Unity asset for an object or a CAD model, you can make that object sticky. Okay, so are you so when you're detecting the actual parts of the real world that you can make sticky. Sure. Um, you know, how are you like how is it how does it work with like depth depth cameras and things right. like that? Is it is it detecting purely based on light or are you able to use or take advantage of depth cameras in phones like the iPhone 7 things like that? Yeah, the the amazing thing about model targets is 2 years ago we thought this was technology that would require depth and depth sensing. Okay. And uh, probably 18 months ago or so, we had a pretty big breakthrough you know, through a combination of conventional computer vision and deep learning where we're able to achieve this on standard cameras. So model targets are gonna work on a large number of iPhone and, and Android devices. In fact, almost the entire base of, of what we support with, with Euphoria today. Now, as we do get devices with depth sensing, that'll be able to provide more immersive capabilities and help it later. Um, but the big breakthrough here with model targets is shape-based and existing devices. So I suppose for you as well, you know, wanting to deliver a consistent um, performance and a consistent experience across a range of devices, right. it's better to not, I guess, rely on, you know, just a few kind of high-end uh, devices. Absolutely, absolutely. And, and you know, you, you know this at, at Unity too. It's, it's all about giving developers you know, one point of contact or one mm -hmm. tool that helps them reach as many platforms as possible. We've really been focusing on that same proposition, but specifically with respect to AR, where it's getting pretty complicated with all the different AR enablers between different types of compute, sensors, and cameras. And of course, it gets even more complicated with the devices we put on our heads. Okay, so for, for people who are interested in 
getting started in AR, you know, it, there's a lot of news around AR at the moment. How do people dive into Vuforia? What's the what's the onboarding process? Well, the easy, super simple way now is just get Unity Unity 2017.2. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Cool. That's so you go an straight go straight to Unity, and you can you can get it right there. Um, developers that want to go deeper or check out other aspects of Euphoria can go to developer.euphoria.com. Nice. And and check it out. So that's where they'll get more information on what we're doing with model targets or a new ground plane capability in uh, what we just announced in Euphoria Seven. Cool. And you you have like a, a host of tutorials and documentation oh, yeah. people can dive into. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. There's a developer forum there. There's also a forum uh, Euphoria forum at Unity now on the Unity site, yep, so of course. you can go to both both yeah. places. Yeah, so I mean, I'm really excited. I know this is going to drastically improve the workflow of Euphoria developers not having having to have it all in the engine. Yeah. Um, I know you mentioned so you mentioned the ground plane detection for yeah. Euphoria 7. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll tell you, one of the biggest pieces of feedback that we've had over the last, I don't know, maybe a couple years was, hey, we want this thing called markerless. We want markerless. And when people say markerless, you know, nine times out of 10, what they mean is, I just want to put something on that table or on the floor. Mm -hmm. And the funny thing about this is it's, it's actually technology we've had and been working on for years. And we came to the brink of releasing it a couple times, but didn't because we couldn't make it work cross-platform. Mm -hmm. right. You know, it depends on a certain level of sensor functionality, a certain level of camera functionality, a certain amount of compute. And then you have to calibrate each device to, to make that work. So um, we finally got to a point where we think we can pull it off. Awesome. And uh, so now we have Euphoria Ground Plane. And uh, it, uh, it'll work on devices that have AR kit. So it'll actually use AR kit for that capability where it finds them. It'll use AR core where it finds AR core. But the thing we did even broader is uh, we're supporting Ground Plane on even more devices. So I think, for example, AR kit touches about 34% of all mm -hmm. Euphoria devices today. And with the Ground Plane capability that we'll have on, on iOS, we'll hit over 90%. Nice. So it's really going to bring that that great core yeah. capability that we're seeing in ARKit and AR Core to a, a much broader set of devices, both iOS and Android. So essentially, people that are building for ARKit and AR Core can use Vuforia now to e take their development even further and add the add the object targets and the image targets as well. That's right. Okay. That's right. That's so going to be can, amazing. They can put things on objects and they can put things on on the on surfaces very easily, and it'll work on ARKit, AR Core. And even more. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty exciting time. And yeah. having it integrated at Unity or in Unity all at the same time is just gonna be an awesome, awesome thing for developers. Cool. And can you tell us a bit about the uh, the chalk app? Yeah. That's that's the one thing that we do need to talk about as well. Yeah. Yeah, so chalk is a new thing for us. You know, with Euphoria we've all been about uh, developer enablement and really empowering developers, but we have aspirations for Vuforia as a platform that go go broader. And uh, so before a chalk represents our first app that's part of the platform. And uh, if you're one of those people like me that loves to buy gadgets for people yes. and like <laughs> give them to them and then realizes the dark side of giving people gadgets where when they have a problem like installing them or using them or configuring them. They're going to call they you call first. You. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and they call you in the conversations like this. Um, I tried it, but the blinky light is not doing what it's supposed to. I'm like, what blinky light? Well, it's the one next to the button. I'm like, what button? You guys, you guys, have, you know, yeah, this you've lived tech the movie. Support. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so chalk is super cool. Um, what chalk does is it, it lets you look through somebody else's camera so I can see what they see when they have a problem. Oh, that's and awesome. Then, and then I can literally draw on the screen. And when I draw on the screen with chalk marks, my chalk marks don't just show up on their screen. It, they look like I drew on the world. Nice. Okay, cool. So what it, what it does is it allows, it allows telepresence for my finger, mm -hmm. and, and I can kind of reach through and point something out to somebody else. Now, it starts out with us sort of helping others like this for this simple task, but we really think this is a, a disruptive form of communication that yeah. lets people have interactions with each other when they're far apart that otherwise you'd be, have to be next to each other. And, and I think it, the, the amount of uses, both consumer, um, enterprise, and industrial, just, uh, just staggering. So right. we're super, super excited about it. Amazing. It sounds like there's <laughs> a lot of amazing features coming out. So oh, my gosh. Yeah. Definitely, if you're an AR developer. It's time. It's time. It's time. Yes. All right. Well, thank you so much, thank Jay. You. It's thank been you. a pleasure to talk to you. Great to talk with you. Thanks so much. And if people want to find out about how to onboard with Euphoria, it was developer.vuphoria.com, right? That's correct. Kay. Or download Unity 2017.2. There's that. It's that Why easy. Not <laughs> Why not both? <laughs> awesome. Thanks, Jay. Thanks, right. Jay. Take care. Okay.